Oh, what's up, guys? I just joined a really cool freaking football team. I'm really excited about it. Would you mind taking a picture of me? I want to post it on Facebook. Football. <laughs> it's kind of lame, isn't it? Yeah, I can take a picture of you, dude. Are you going to face tune it to get the acne off of that? You know, there's like, uh, there's like products and stuff you can wash your face with that'd help. Hey, just download FaceTune then. Get the acne off. Hello, 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 and welcome my beautiful and sexy friends from all across the world to another video. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about a very basic concept that's gonna to apply to people from all walks of life, not necessarily just people who have dealt with acne, but that is where I'm gonna be speaking from is my own personal experience with acne and how this would have helped me if I had put this concept into play. Now, enough talking, let's just say it right out forward and then we'll keep talking about what this concept is. The concept is don't be friends with people that you don't respect. It's a very simple concept. But think about it. You wouldn't be friends, you wouldn't you wouldn't respect somebody who you knew wouldn't or doesn't respect you. And I mean, even celebrity or people that you'll never meet, you wouldn't respect them if you knew that when you had an interaction with them in the future, possibly, if it ever did happen, that they were gonna completely disrespect you, or they were gonna make fun of you, or they wouldn't pay attention to you, or whatever it is, right? So. The rule is, it's pretty basic. You should only be friends with people that you respect and that respect you. Now, when it comes to acne, that's something that I hadn't put into play when I was at my worst acne. So when I was in high school, I used to have cysts all over my face, blackheads all over my face, whiteheads all over my face, and I was picked on by everybody. And that's not necessarily exactly what this video is talking about. I'm not addressing um, how to resist and how to stay strong through the general body of people that you interact with. Because uh, I've talked about that in the past and I'll talk about that in the future. But of course, when you go to school or work, you're gonna have tons of people that you have to interact with on a daily basis that do disrespect you or do make you feel, you know, less valued or, or just are generally plain rude about whatever it is. But those aren't your choosing. That's not your inner circle of friends. You don't pick those people. You know, you work with those people or they go to the same class as you. Now, this video, I want to specifically talk about the people that you choose to have in your inner circle. Now, throwback back to when I was in high school, my inner circle was really awesome, except for, I would say, two guys specifically that were not so awesome. They didn't respect me. And the other ones are still tried and true my best friends to this day so it just goes to show that this concept for me at least worked really really well now those two that didn't respect me whenever I would show up to an event or I'd show up to meet up and hang out with all my friends those were the two who were always the quickest to jump on any new cyst I had on my face any new acne activity on my face really they were the first ones to make fun of me and give me nicknames and just point out something that obviously I was struggling through and obviously I mean almost every single person who has acne, whether or not they're strong about it or not, they're aware of it. And it does make you at least aware that it's on your face. And when someone else brings it up over and over and over, it's not the most awesome thing. So think about this. If you were in a village with a certain type of person and there was 20 types, of, there was 20 people of that same person and they were all negative, for example, if you were in a village with a bunch of negative people, eventually over time, you would start to think negatively, or at least you'd start to grab some of their tendencies. And for example, you might start reacting a similar way that they do to certain things. You might start having a negative reaction. And I think that humans, because we're co-regulating, the way that we interact with each other rubs off onto each other. And because we have so many different people that we interact with, we get to choose small pieces of people that we like and their personalities that we like, and we get to put that into our own personality. Now, if you have only good people that you're interacting with, then you're going to generally have a good reaction to things. You're gonna have a positive outlook to things. You're gonna grab those good things from those good people. But when you are surrounded by people that you don't respect and that don't respect you, you're going to have a lot of that rub off on you. And if those people are in your inner circle, if they're in your closest group of friends, it might start making you feel weak and not valued. And it might start making you question your confidence and it might bring your self-esteem down. That's not good. And that's not how it should be. You shouldn't have your self-confidence brought down by your closest friends. But so many times, a lot of us will get into contexts and, and, and friendships that we never really thought about, but it kind of autopiloted there. For example, one way that I was able to become friends with somebody that I didn't, dis I didn't respect is that 
two of my other friends were friends with a person and those two friends that originally I was friends with, I love those guys, I respect those guys, they were really good friends with me. And then the other person joined in our group. And so then they became close to me even though I didn't necessarily respect them. Now, it's not their fault or my fault, it just kind of happened, right? But I think it, we owe it to ourselves to have a little bit of a responsibility to think, are the people that I surround myself with constantly good for me or bad for me? And if you ask that question honestly and you say, they're not good for me, they slowly over time work me down, grind on me, I don't respect them, they don't bring something to my life, they actually take something away, at that point, it becomes your responsibility to figure out a way to distance yourself from those people. Cleanse out your inner circle because those are the people that you draw the most social energy from. And we all listen to social interactions. It's something that we all evaluate and have in our head. We social interact on a daily basis. And you can choose what kind of social interactions you wanna have, you know what I mean? It's totally up to you to create that context. And if you're smart about it, you can surround yourself with only the best ingredients to make the best food, if that's the analogy that you wanna use since I'm the king of analogies. But if you surround yourself with mostly good ingredients and some bad ingredients, you're always gonna have a little bit of bad taste in your mouth, I guess, when you go home and you start thinking about the interactions that you've had. So I think, that for anyone of any walk of life, I think it would be really valuable to apply this concept into your life and see if by doing this, you notice a, a change in the quality of your life. Because when I finally did cut those people out, um, probably around the senior year of my high school, uh, I, I almost immediately saw a huge change. But over the course of three, four, five years, I really noticed the change. And now that I'm looking back at it, you know, 10 years later, it's really clear to me that having those people taken out of my life allowed me to progress a lot further. Because having people like that, having people who tear you down are like an anchor for your progress. You can still pull them along and make that progress, but having that person around doesn't help you. And I think it'd be really wise to take that person out. It's a pretty simple concept, really, but it takes a little bit of practice to put it into play. And it also takes a little bit of planning to execute, you know, the things that you know you need to have to do after you have analyzed and thought, okay, this person I realize doesn't make me happy and I don't like being around them but I just realized that I have gotten to a habit of it. It takes a little bit to make those actions actually come into play, but seriously, by doing this, you are gonna save yourself a lot of grief. You're gonna help yourself progress in a lot of different avenues in your life, and you're gonna keep your self-esteem and confidence up, which is really important, especially if you are someone who's suffering with any sort of a physical you know, thing that people point out. But for me, especially with acne, sometimes you can't get your acne to go away very quickly, and so you are gonna to have to deal with having acne on your face while still being happy and progressing in your life. And that itself is a huge, huge mental bat battle. And by making the context easier for you to continue being confident and have a support group that actually respects you and having that self-esteem stay high, you're gonna be able to look at your face and say, you know what, man, I love myself. All the people that I surround myself with love me and I love them back. It makes it very easy for me to say, I'm not listening to any of the naysayers and it doesn't matter whether or not I'm able to clear this up today, tomorrow, next year, or never, because I see the value in myself and that does not change. And I make sure that I continue to provide the context for myself to stay high in self-esteem and high in respect for myself, as well as my close inner group of friends. So I hope this concept hits you guys. I hope you use it. If you do, I would love, love, love to hear about it in the comments, in the DMs, any way that you can send it to me. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends who you think it would help, and comment if you haven't commented already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed.